Hello YouTube, this is DJ's Old Gauge Trains. I have my Golden Spike Club California Zephyr set to uh, show you. I'm just actually going to show you two cars. I don't have the engines yet to run this set, so I decided just to show you two cars and show you the little uh, luggage tag that comes with it and uh, just give you a little bit of a preview. So this is a gorgeous set. Uh, as most of you probably know, the California Zephyr has a really rich history as far as American railroading goes. Um, and there's several documentaries, several videos made of this set. And uh, I just couldn't pass up this deal. Um, I really wanted this set. And I really wanted to have this in the collection. So I'm real happy I've got it. And when the engines come in, I'll do a full running video. But I'm just going to show you the two cars that have been uh, refurbished and are back in service on excursion trains. So here is the Silver Solarium Dome Observation, and it's beautiful. And that light flashes just like it did on the real train. It's hard to see the tail sign because uh, just because it's too bright, but it's very nice. And you can see the interior. I'm going to try to find photographs of the real California Zephyr uh, from this time period and get in shots of the interior, and I'd like to try to paint it to match and then add figures, so that would be really cool. So there's the uh, lounge section under the dome, and then here are the sleeping rooms. Try to keep it steady. And then here we have the Silver Rapids. So I already have the first run of the Silver Rapids. The finish on that car is a little different than this one. So I'm real glad that uh, I got this car again so that, uh, so that it'll match the finish of the rest of the set. If I put the first run car in the set, it will look a little bit weird because the finish is different. But this is cool. So there you go. And this is the transcontinental sleeper that the Pennsylvania Railroad owned. And this sleeper would run all the way through from California to Chicago. Then it would be switched into a Pensy train. And it would run from Chicago to New York City. And then it would make the trip back. And there were several other cars that were leased by the Pennsylvania and New York Central to do this trip. But this is the only one that was actually owned by the Pennsylvania Railroad. So it's really cool. It's a real nice addition to the collection. And the name is cool. Every California Zephyr car starts with the word silver. And then every 10-6 sleeper in the Pennsylvania Railroad uh, series is Rapids. It's some kind of Rapids car. So it, it was just a no-brainer to name the car Silver Rapids. So it's really cool. So last thing I'll show you before I end the video is uh, the box. You get this special uh, white box. And I think the dealer sets have this too. But uh, it's a nice white box, and um, I, I do have the shipping box that came in. I'm going to keep this white box nice and put it back in the shipper as soon as the video is over. And you get this luggage tag, which is really cool. It's got the serial number. I have number 34. And then if I flip it over, I can actually use it as a luggage tag, so that's pretty cool. And there you go. Whoops, something down. It has the route. Let me just hold it so it doesn't slide off the box. You also get this little card where you can sign your name. Oops, sorry, I hit the phone. So what I would do is just sign my name and slip that card uh, back into the little sleeve. Uh, that it came with and then there you go that steel chain goes on the luggage tag in case you actually want to use it as a luggage tag I probably won't do that because I don't want to get it scratched up but it's really cool really nice so I just took it off the box there so I'll give you one more shot of the nice little luggage tag and then that's it so I'll do more videos of the set down the line when the engines come in and when I populate it and paint the interior like I did with the Amtrak uh, cars that I have from Atlas and it'll look really cool. Alright, so that's it for now. Hope you liked it and I'll talk to you next time. Bye bye.